and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on square roots and cube roots. Now this topic is very frequently asked in government exams and bank exams. It may not be asked in B school exam but can be asked in low level B school examinations like MAT. Now, all we have tried to do in this video is to cover up almost all the concepts from this chapter so that by the end of this video, one watching this video should be in a comfortable position while dealing with the problem from the chapter square roots and cube roots. Now let's get started. The first question. The cube root, is, cube root of 0.000125 is. So we need to find the cube root. So what we would do here is we, we would play with the digits inside the bracket. So we would try and remove the decimal and add six zeros just because there are six one two three four five six digits after decimal so 125 by 10 to the power six now we can easily find out the cube root of 125 that would be 5 5 into 5 into 5 and for 10 to the power 6 it would be 100 into 100 into 100 so it would be simple 5 by 100 that is 0 0.05 second question a least perfect square which is divisible by each of 6, 12 and 50. So there is least in this. Now LCM can be found out straight away. So 6, 12 and 15 gives the LCM as 60. So that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So we need to find out the least perfect square which is divisible by each of 6, 12 and 15. But to make it perfect square, what we need to do? We need to multiply it by 3 and 15. So it would be 900. So the least perfect square which is divisible by each of 6, 12 and 15 would be 900. Third question. A group of students at St. Paul's school decide to collect as many passive from each student as is the number of students in class. Now the total collection is 33.64. The number of students in the class is now the total amount is 33.64. So how much it would be in passive? It would be 3,364 because multiplied by 100, one rupee contain 100 passive. Now it is saying this is this is total amount 3,364 passive, which is achieved by the same number of students collecting same number of passive. So we would find out the simple square root that is 58. So the number of students in the class are 58 and each student contributed 58 pieces. so 58 into 58 goes up to 3364 fourth question 0 0.0256 into 100 all in square roots under square root is equal to 1.6 so what we would do here we would what we would do here is we would square both sides so this would remove this this sign it would be 0 0.0256 into x is equal to 1.6 square so 1.6 square can be easily written as 2.56. Now we'll find out x 2.56 divided by 0 0.0256. That would give 100 as the answer. Fair enough. Fifth question. What is the smallest number by which 2400 be divided to make it a perfect cube? Now we factorize 2400. So 2400 gives 2 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 2. So to make it perfect cube, we must it must be divided by 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 2, which would leave 2 to the power 3, that is 8, which is a perfect cube. So 300 should be the one by which it should be divided to get a perfect cube. I hope. The problem solved in this video would give you a clear insight on which kind of problems are asked and how they are solved from, this, from the topic square roots and cube roots. Thank you.